اهلا وسهلا هلا رغدا ثانكس فور هافينغ مي ويلكم ويلكم از ذس كوفي اي سمال ابسولوتلي اتس اوريدي فور يو ثانك يو ليتس جو كم ويز مي تو ذا كيتشن ذس از نايس تو هاف يو اند هيرز يور كوفي لوفلي ثانك يو انجويد ام شور يو نيد ات ثانك يو ويل ام هير تو اسك يو فور كويشنز اباوت بيروت شور شوت Okay, so the first question, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Beirut? It's a very tortured city, Beirut, but it keeps reinventing itself. It's like me, in a way. This is the common denominator. That's why the story of my life is from Beirut to Beirut. And it's a city that I love. I was born here. I'm coming back to enjoy it. And we have to fight for it because it's in my heart. And Amazing. I'm in love with it. Amazing. And what keeps you coming back to Beirut? You want to know? Yes. Come, let me show you. Let me show you what keeps me coming back to Beirut. Take a look. Look at this. Look at this beauty. The sea, the downtown, and the mountain, the sky, the beautiful sky, the light. The light of Beirut is so special. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And to wake up to this and to sleep to it and to be grateful for what I have. So this is my love. This is the way I can understand. I yes, yes. Shall we sit down? Yes, Let's please. Let's go. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Come have a seat. OK, brings me to my third question. If, um, if I show you one of the photos taken by artist Fadia Ahmad, mm -hmm. Okay, and it will be displayed in her exhibition, Beirut, Beirut, mm -hmm. that you're obviously attending. Yes, of course. Tell me, what emotions would it invoke in you? Let's take a look. So, this is the photo. Ah, Raushi. The iconic Raushi. The one of my childhood, actually, because we, were f we, we feared it. It was something we looked at with awe, because we were told that people committed suicide from a Raushi. But then also it was supposed to be the romantic place. People committed suicide because they were in love. At any rate, no, this is the Raushi I visit a lot right now. I go look at it from a very close distance at one other iconic place in Beirut. And it is something that is Beirut. You identify Beirut with the Raushi and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous picture. Amazing. It was really interesting how you interpreted. This brings me to my fourth question. How do you spread positivity in your process? Look, Beirut for me is incredibly important in my life. And that's why when I came back to Beirut, I came to establish a think tank called Beirut Institute. So Beirut Institute is a think tank that is globally recognized and respected. And it has put Beirut on the road map. Well, it has put Beirut on the map of think tanks, global think tanks. And that is very important for me, that we identify and give Beirut back its due. This is a great city that gave us throughout centuries something, and recent history, always it was the place where we breathed freedom. It's the place where we thought with, 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 with something more than just repeating what other people say. This was the place where we created the future. And that's why I decided to establish a think tank called Beirut Institute to give it its due, and I'm very proud of it. And Ama that's my gift to Beirut. Amazing, Rahida. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you very much, thank you. Good bye to bye. see you. Good to Good see to you. See you. Bye. Ciao.